Procedure Spread a sheet of white art paper on the table. Hold it either with drawing pins or with cello tape. Draw a horizontal line MM from the point O. On the line MM dash, draw a perpendicular N or normal N. Draw a line PO at any desired angle, say 30 degree, with the normal using a protector. Put a clock with a loud tick inside a cardboard or metallic tube A and place the tube with its axis along the line PO. Put another cardboard or metallic tube B nearby as shown in figure 8.4a and listen through it. Can you hear the tick of the clock? No. Now place a sheet of hardboard along the line mm dash as shown. Adjust the angle of the tube B until the ticking of the clock sounds loudest. Mark the position of the tube B. Draw a line joining the two points. This line indicates the reflected sound waves. Repeat similar experiment for different angle of incidence. Describe these lines by OP, OP dash, etc. Draw the corresponding reflected ray, OP, OP dash, etc. Measure the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. Record your observations in the tabular form. Observations Least count of protector is equal to 1 degree. Angles made by the axis of the tube A with normal, B with normal, angle I, angle R, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree. Results From the observations, we see that with an experimental error, angle of incidence of sound is equal to angle of reflection of sound wave. The incident sound wave, the reflected sound wave and the normal lie in the same plane, the plane of paper. Conclusion The results show that sound, like light, obeys the laws of reflection. Source of error There may be some error in locating the position of tube B. Precautions Perform this experiment in a no-noise room. The sheet of hardboard should be placed vertically. The front surface of the hardboard should be smooth.